The train tracks are intended to be going down those tracks today. I'm in a slightly different route than I usually do to get over to the river. We'll see how that goes. I'm curious how this will come out in video. Oh, you can see it. That down there. That's a spooky place. Every time I walk under that overpass there, I always get the heebie-jeebies. I don't know what's going on there, but it seems like a place of death. Now, I happen to know from previous missions that this particular walking here is more difficult than I'm going to encounter for most of the trip. And I'm not wearing shoes this time. I kept getting so many damn stickers in them last time that I ended up taking them off and wearing my sandals. See this stuff right there? If I just, even just so much as brush on that, wearing shoes and socks, I'll have those little stickers in there and they ruin walking they really get in there and hook you but this rock is tough and yet i've noticed that the soles of my sandals are much tougher than any of my running shoes you do have to be careful though it's so easy to kick a rock and have it bang your toes or the side of your foot there's no protection there so it's a kind of a tiptoe style works though yeah not very interesting I know but I went over this side of the train tracks it's a little bit easier walking a little bit easier footpath but I'm headed down there taking my time not too hot I haven't pulled my umbrella out yet it will no doubt be one of those hot, hot days. That's not peaceful. Pop shop down that way. I noticed they got this secret rear entrance they can go out with an automatic gate. <laughs> those guys are so funny. While I await the train coming, Aries. Always the alternate spelling with the graffiti artists, huh? Do they know and do it purposely or not? That's the question. Hey, that's pretty cool, huh? That took some work. E joke. E joke. Who knows? I hear that train. Still no train. Nice and slow. Looks like lots of shipping containers. Is that the end already? No. We'll see. He's, he's, he's slowing down. Oh, lots of engines. Oh, oil tankers, those are heavy. One of the more affluent neighborhoods of Fresno. I really tend to ping on their bourgeois jar. You are not one of us. You are not one of us. I am going to call the police unit. You are not one of us. Now that that other train has passed, you can hear how quiet this one is in comparison. That was a loud train, those tankers heavy it was moving a bit faster we'll see as this one picks up the pace but these cars do seem to be quieter 
and then that other one. Oh, I spotted the shade from a quarter mile away down that way. Oh. This is what is called power napping. I see it with my feet up. That's the opposite of what they're doing when you're walking. Oh, I'm not sure how many miles in I've gotten. Three or four, but I doubt five. I'll have to have a look. You see stickers like this? People call it Bermuda grass, rye grass. You can make bread from those seeds. It makes it kind of a dark, heavy bread. But if I were to walk in this with running shoes and socks, I would just be covered with stickers. They are the kind that go one direction too, not the other. So they stick and they're awful. But I walked through this with bare legs and sandals. And actually, it feels good. It feels ticklish. It feels wonderful. So see, this sandals thing is not just me being really tough, but really very practical for this environment. I discovered a bike trail. It's the row of trucks on the other side of the fence. If you use your x-ray vision, you can see right through it. But check this out. There's a little trail going alongside the ultra bougie neighborhood here. We'll see where it goes. Huh? Oh, a more boring place to take a break can hardly be imagined. But here we are. My ugly town. My cool backpack. Uh huh. And off that way is the river. That's where we're going. Oh, I see the bike path resumes over that way. Cool. The San Joaquin Country Club, I believe. The Garden Country Club is behind me up river. So I was walking down this trail that was on the other side of this fence here. This neighborhood alongside me. You know, easy walking. So I'm going to stop beginning my videos with so. We have made it to the San Joaquin River Basin. You will see it here momentarily. There's the train tracks. See it down there? Yeah, right there. Over here. We have the golf course. Saturday, good place to Good time to play golf. Not me, not today. We are looking for a trail down to the river. And I intend to go for a swim. But it's a very, very hot day. Aha. Look at that. There's a nice trail. I try to admire the graffiti, but I have a real hard time with it. Notice how it's so always textual, huh? They have to write letters and numbers. You can never read of anything they say, and you never see these people, but there's hundreds of them, thousands of them. Who are they? Where they come from? Huh. Some great river trails. This is just the sort of thing that I just love. As a kid, if we'd come here as a family, I'd be going, I'm going exploring. Exploring. That butterfly. It had a special meaning. Huh. I wonder what kind of plants these are. Are those old? It looks like some kind of dandelion. Wow. 
And here's those miniature sunflowers that I showed before. See, again, we got some kind of water source that roots are able to get a hold of. Destination one, the river. Go for a swim. There's a few people here, as expected. Oh my God, happy to be here. Oh, my feet are so hot. You see the red tail on the branch there? I disturbed him, he made a little noise. He was over there, he flew there, and there he is looking at us. Oh, he is looking away. He's like, I'm not looking at you, man. Are you gonna fly? You're so beautiful, hello, oh my God. Oh, you're gonna fly? Let's see you fly. Come on. Let's see you fly. Wow. <laughs> this is where I stopped to have a little swim. As you can see, the water is kind of turgid. It's only about waist deep at that spot. Various people on the bank upstream wouldn't say anything, wouldn't look at me, wouldn't make any eye contact. I don't know if you can hear the in the cars, but 99 is over that way. But there's that wall. Elderberries. Oh my god, jackpot. Look at these. They are so perfectly bright. This is some sanctuary for probably elderberries and some kind of beetle. There's a sign over there that says no trespassing. And here I am very much trespassing. I'm going to eat me some of them. After having walked down here to the nice green spot, waited a little bit in the river, I'm managing to stay pretty close to the river. It's very quiet here. No one ever comes here. But those elderberries sure were good. I'd be remiss if I didn't show all this dandelion fluff. Look at that stuff all over the trees, it's from dandelions, there's little bits of it floating by me all the time. They tend to catch the eye. See that? Isn't that amazing? Not the most appealing uh, picnic area, huh? That was cool. The shuttle of the airplane passed overhead. But look at that, your feet will be in mud. So these parks are closed due to high water. <laughs> that is the bridge for the high speed rail. It's been under construction for many years. You get one Congress that's in favor of it, they push it forward, and another one that doesn't want it and they stop it. This is really the furthest west I've walked along this river. A nice little octagonal picnic area. Water over there doesn't work. Thankfully, I got my Sawyer Squeeze, which is making delicious cold water from the river. And I'm gonna head down there again for my second swim and some lunch. It's two o'clock. Haven't eaten anything all day. I'm over on the west side of 99 in this valley from the river cutting it across. It's, the river's over that way. Here's the freeway coming up on the right. So the car is zooming. Homeless camp under the bridge. New gas station. It's like a big tank they built up over there. And up on that bluff is a road. I've ridden my bike down. I haven't walked this region yet. So fun exploring, doing new things. Oh, see my sandals drying there. Oh, my gloves. All covered with stickers. Can you see that? Oh, sitting on this log, I took a Good 20 minute break. Can you see the reflection? Yeah, a little bit. You can see the reflection of the blue down there.
that's the water. I'm still climbing up this hill. I got another 40 feet to go. I had to stop. I was so tired. Wow. Couldn't even catch my breath. Hey, let's flip this around. Yeah, I couldn't even catch my breath. Ow. Oh, ah, that's not right yet. Oh. oh. Sat down on this log a good 20 minutes, laid back on it. See, in the middle of some jungle area. Ah, I just had to rest. Advice for older hikers. Give yourself time to rest. It's funny, I remember as a kid, there'd be those moments when I didn't think I could take in enough air. And my heart was just pumping so hard, could it possibly pump enough blood? I thought I was gonna faint. Routinely I'd do that. These days in my old age, no, I kind of avoid that. And I'm thinking, hmm, maybe I need to do more of that. Maybe the problem isn't that I am hurting myself. I'm not hurting myself enough, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I took a long break here. Wanted to cool off, water up, pump oh, as many bags of water through my water filters. It would go plus an extra spare one. I seemed to just keep running out. Even though it seems like plenty of water, I'll show you in just a second. But it's a pretty nice spot. Notice that I sink up to my knee. It's it's muddy, 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 and up to it's up to my neck where those bushes are right in the center of the screen. So got my stuff washed off, my sitting pad. My feet, and I saw your squeeze bottle. I never even got my sandals wet. My backpack, gloves, hat. Houses up on the hill. Oh, I get a feeling they can see me. I'm not too worried though. I'm gonna find a sleep place to sleep. Oh, I gotta get my beans hydrating. See the river? It has flooded its banks. I don't know what kind of grapes these are. I tasted them, they're not quite ripe. They're very tart, they may be Chardonnay grapes. But they sure are growing really well. Well look at this river crossing the banks. One thing's for sure, there's a camping spot on the other side of this and I don't have to worry about anybody approaching me so I'm just gonna walk right down through it plenty of water oh oh my god that feels so good oh my battered feet oh heavenly Yeah, see the grapes? These things were underwater at some point in the year. <laughs> Irrigation line. Some kind of island here. Oh, I might have to go back. Let's see. Let's do a little exploring. That tree looks like dry land. Okay. I'm gonna put the camera away and need both hands. I decided to keep going a little ways rather than just accept that spot. And here I found where the deep water runs right into this shore. It's very clean water. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's the sound of a motor up there, probably that jet ski. Couple of extremely out of shape, obese looking guys on it, looking very scared. 
Here we have another kind of grape. These ones are seedless and the purple ones are quite sweet. It's very bad form to eat a farmer's grapes. But an occasional nip to see how they are. Well, I wouldn't mind that if I were a farmer. There we go. Look at this amazing orchard. Huh? Wow. There we go. Beautiful. So I walked all the way down and all the way back looking for somewhere to sleep. Looking for someplace dry. I like a nice fluffy ground. What a kind of beauty to this place, huh? Walking through some guy's grape orchard. I'm glad no one's come to harass me. I suppose I could handle it. I'd be very nice to them. I compliment them on their fine orchard, in fact. Ask them for a ride. See that? That's a great spot. It just happens to be right in the road. Anybody coming down is going to see me. So, nice and comfortable. Not still. Yep. Away from the bugs. Mm -hmm. Happy is the world where old men plant trees that they will never see the fruit of. Here we got some trees getting planted. I'm going to sleep somewhere down there. Down the road. Oops. Oh, ow. <clears throat> oh. Look at the moon up there. Hmm. 8.45. Found a place to camp. Road is right up there behind me. I don't have any cars going by for sound effects right now. I find the sticker country though has nice soft spongy soil. Boy, we must be using ISO 20,000 to get all that pixelation, but I thought I would just give the story a wrap. I'm going to make some food now. I should have got my rice rehydrating earlier. I got another hour. I got a mango. Yay. And I found some unpicked grapefruit a little bit down the ways and I may go get some more of those yummy things. Mm. Red sky in the morning. Sailors take warning. Looks like it might be storming in the east. This is the valley above which I slept, the orchard I wandered in yesterday. I can hear a car coming up behind me on my right. We'll see whether that sound shows up in the video. It was quite stickery last night. See those flowers? That's jimson weed. That's a hallucinogenic plant grows everywhere around here. I'm glad more people don't know about it. You can die. But this weed right here, I find from walking barefoot that the ground is, is usually soft and spongy and there's only the occasional stick and it makes for a very warm, comfortable sleep. And there's a beautiful sky in the morning. Getting to my camp last night involved walking past these beehive boxes. This corner had a lot more on it. I don't know what that juice oozing out from it is. Honey, probably. So the bees swarming. I never am troubled by bees. Hello bees. Hello bees. I guess they moved the hives up here. Right down there is where I slept. And I happened to find this gate to go through. 
because one thing you got with these grapevines, which I'm going to show you here, see these wires holding them up. You don't need to see them. Is a good example of them. Looks like there we go. Hmm. Now this one doesn't have so many of them. Maybe there's a wire running across there making it impossible to get by. But I could have actually slipped through that. I took my backpack off. So some kind of purple grape. And. I'm walking back down this road in the other direction. I decided to not go west because it involves just walking on the road. I didn't come out here to hike along the damn road. Nice and quiet on the Sunday though. There is that. Oh yeah, see. Here you can see the wires, and that's why I couldn't get through. I was sleeping right over there last night. Could not sleep. River really widens at this spot. There we have it. See that? Are you sure we find to go down this in a boat, huh? No. I think if I were to properly tell the story of travel along the San Joaquin, we'd have to include the 99 crossing. To the busy freeway. We found a little road that runs to the side of it. It's heading down under the bridge there where I know there's a homeless encampment and I just picked up a rock in my shoe. Just making the camera shake when you fix I should say a rock in my sandal. Part of the sandal experience is getting rocks in there. But some are worse than others. Some you can put up with, but it's not so much. So here we have on this side of the sign here, some sort of tent shelter, is it? I mean, what a place to camp. Why would anyone do that? It's a shame to put a, such a simple thing as a battery be limiting my heart. Uh, we're stuck with whatever juice I got left on my cell phone for any videos I'm going to make for the future of this trip. We have, uh, here I'm in this shelter, this picnic shelter, currently unoccupied, water all turned off due to high water. But I'm going to walk up the trail to meet up to the place where I normally go north, south, east, northeast, Spano Park. So we'll be walking up the trail that way until we get to the meetup point. And then I will have completed the circuit. I'm not sure how many miles I walked since this morning. I really should check, but over and out. So across the field from the substation, you can see where all the power lines are going to here. Here's down there. We're we'll walking along this fence in this housing complex. You might be able to hear the 
ever-present sound of the leaf blower off in the distance there are train tracks other train tracks and on the other side of that will be the territory I have not explored yet between this train track and Spano Park which we entered in to go east on our last trip my ugly feet part 123 in a long series oh, planning on doing a little doctoring thought I would capture the feel of what the hike is over on this side here rather treacherous the river is cutting into the bank and making for can you see that trail? Making for some rather steep angled spots. <clears throat> and it's a steep side, see that? Woo! Yeah. Potentially very dangerous. So I'm taking my time, placing my feet carefully, using my cane. Got my umbrella stashed right down into the water. Oh, it's appealing again. It's a very hot day. What are those blackberries? I've noticed I tend to take much fewer videos when I'm miserable, which I am. The heat is incredible. I thought I'd show a close up of this kind of thistle. It's called the star thistle. See those little pokey things? They are as pokey as they look. This is definitely a thorn. My legs are cut up and bleeding. My toes are cut from this stuff. It's all over this area. I'm in a section of the path where it isn't growing quite as intensely. But here I am in what is supposedly state parkland, fish and game. Uh, Fishing Game Wildlife Preserve. Hasn't been a truck down this road all season, hardly any footprints. I have no idea where it goes. It's this huge lake looking thing off to the left. The water's brackish. Not very pretty. Got the phone right down in the water. So that trail, that Fishing Game Trail, oh my god. So hot. Oh, I thought I was going to just fall right over from the heat. So, here I am. I found a nice little beach. Father and son violated their privacy. I can hear them talking over there. They, I made them move. I normally I'd wait. Oh, well, I just had to get in the water. Man, it feels so good. It's warm water up near the surface, the first five feet, and down where my feet are right now. Oh, nice and cool. Oh. So, see this big lake like thingy? I have no idea what it is. I'll get back home and study it and find out where it is. I've been. <laughs> See that motion? That's the that's the water moving my arms, which are actually underwater. <laughs> yeah. So I know the kind of boat it would take to go down this river, and it's it's not that big seagoing pro. That'd be too hard to maneuver. Something more canoe-like. Nice carrying capacity, but not kayak. Those things are dogs, you know. They're really hard to paddle. Have you ever tried to work with one of those things? You like paddle, 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 and the canoers are just like they give it a stroke and glide and stroke and glide. It's a much more serene way of dealing with the water. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. My camp. So I pitch the umbrella to keep the sun from beating on my water bottles. 
Nice little beach. Hmm? You see the appeal. It doesn't have this slippery, muddy spot. If you look for those rocks, that's the thing to look for. If you see those exposed rocks, it means easy ingress and egress from the beach. Typical of the San Joaquin River experience. It's a walnut orchard. I guess he doesn't want anybody walking through it. Not merely really waist high star thistle, head high th star thistle. Ta da! I managed to find a way around it. And there's the San Joaquin River Basin. Hallelujah, going down there. Don't have much battery left in my phone, so I have to be conservative. Well, we missed the red tail. Thought I had a recording. It wasn't. This is where the evening finds me. I'm at 20% battery, so I'm going to have to go into low power mode. Shut this thing off. But nice spot, huh? looking for a place to sleep. That hill over there looks good. There's the orchard, all private property, wide right open fields. I like those kinds of spots because they tend to have a little bit of wind. And it's up above the river, which will keep the bugs down. Plus, I don't hear anybody approaching me because they'll have to climb up to get to me. So there's that hilltop close up and it doesn't look so appealing. I wonder what they're doing. It's all dug out. Sand pit. Over here, however, strange old concrete and steel. Those trees look like they'll provide nice cover and I'm going to go check them out. I'm my Sony now to make some videos. Up ahead there is what's known as Scout Island. It's on the other side of the country club, which you can see in the upper right. And it's sometimes an island, and probably this time of year, with this high water, it is. We used to go and camp as a Boy Scout when I was a kid. We'll see whether or not I can get access to it. I'll consider that a good goal achieved. If you look here, you'll see all the little places for the little pupils to sit. Come, Bob Watterson, <clears throat> teach us wisdom. Well, now, according to this, it's Barbara Beasley Eggbrower, teacher, student activity, flying insects. Student artists, flying insects, and then it has a list of the students with a coordinator. And I guess uh, it's just abandoned. But over here, that's Scott Island, as I remember it as a kid. There's a place you just drive your truck right on down through, sometimes Ford, and then boom up into this jungly aspect. We'd spend the night there, ride our bikes out there, separate. Come right through the golf course. Nobody bothered us. They just wave at us. I was really glad to not get hassled today. Golf course over there. Oh yeah. There didn't used to be all these houses out here. That's what happened. Yeah, now here's something you don't see every day. What the heck are we looking at? Some kind of obstacle course? I know this used to be Scott Island, but we've got some kind of nice park here and garbage cans and looks like a restroom over there. And I'm going to take this opportunity, because I know there's a road, to bail. I want to get back up to the road. I want to take care of my feet, which are hurting at every step.